Berlin is quite a varied city with a lot of things to offer. And I believe in average people come here either for a day or for a weekend. So in this episode, I want to make sure to show you some of the places that are worth your time, give each place a little bit more context, and most importantly, make sure that you have loads of fun while exploring Tallinn. Let's 24 hours start now. Welcome to Tallinn. A lot of very steep steps here today. There is no doubt that Tallinn has a great connection to the sea and areas such as Noblesner and Kalamaya are perfect to get a little bit of taste of that. So I'm super excited that for our very first stop we're going to be exploring the Seaplane Harbour Museum and we're going to be doing there three things. First of all, we're going to chit chat with the local tour guide to get an inside scoop. Then we get inside an actual submarine and also check out how the life looked like 100 years ago on a boat. It's going to be an awesome one. Let's go. Also, check out those boats. Let's start from the top. Seaplane Harbour is a modern maritime and military museum. It is housed in three massive hangars that cover 8,000 square meters. The museum is located next to the sea in the Kalamai district. The entry ticket costs 15 euros and inside you can find sailing boats, various torpedoes and mines, a 16th century ship and a yellow submarine. My favorite bit is that you can also fly a plane, remote control a tiny ship and you can even dress up as your very own captain. Without a doubt, the centerpiece of the museum is the British-built submarine Lembet. We are inside of the museum and honestly, I've seen pictures before we came here and yes, from outside, the whole place looks massive, but you don't quite realize how massive and grand it is once you're inside. And also, look at this massive submarine that I'm standing next to. It's just mind-blowing. And echo, 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 it's everywhere. <laughs> I think we need to be a little bit quieter, but I'm so far, I'm loving this place. Honestly, wow. <sighs> Let's get inside the submarine. I wish I could describe how intricate, minute and compact everything is aboard Lembit. The life on the submarine is definitely a unique one. And here are some facts. The sub weighs 600 tons. It housed 28 sailors and it was in service for 75 years which is kind of amazing as it finished its service only 10 years ago. The front of the submarine looks scary, but this looks luxurious. How do you get in? The vessel is in excellent condition, which makes it super interesting to explore. And... How many times can you actually say that you've been in an actual submarine? I'm so pumped and buzzing right now. Definitely, definitely worth the visit alone. Yep, and now back to being captain. After exploring all three hangars and following all the arrows, you think you're done, but there is also a hall outside to explore. What is cool about this museum is that it has inside part and it also has the outside part. And my favorite bit is this beautiful ship called Surtil. It's basically a century old icebreaker. And what is really cool about this museum is that you can actually go inside the ship, see where the captains used to live, how the crew used to live, where they used to cook and eat and like play card games and all this kind of jazz. So definitely recommend. Overall, the experience of this museum has been absolutely fantastic. We've been here literally for three and a half hours and I think we could have easily spent another two hours here. There is so much to see. The great bit is that they also have this beautiful cafe where you can just sit down, relax, get a bit of bite and maybe enjoy the sunshine on the outside terrace. So great place. We had a lot of fun. And now on to the next bit. Our next destination is in Old Town, which is about 20 minutes from this museum. And I'm heading there to finally check off one of the items from my Tallinn bucket list. There is 95% chance that you will be in the Old Town. TLDR, Old Town is 100% worth your visit. We have actually shot the whole video of what to see and do here, and it's already released on this channel, so go and check it out. 
The only thing that we didn't manage to do is to climb this church and I honestly been dreaming about it for the whole year. So you can imagine I'm super excited. Yes, we're doing it. This is so tall. This is St. Olive's Church and at some point between 1549 and 1625 this building here was the tallest building in the world. This 159 tall spire was a beautiful signpost for the approaching sailors which was a great thing. Not so great thing because it was so tall it used to attract lightning so much so that as a result the structure of this church burned down three times. Nowadays though, it's super safe, it's 129 meters tall or 258 steps to climb to the viewing platform, which we're going to do right now. <laughs> I honestly wish I could express how beautiful and grand this church is from inside out. It's definitely worth the visit and on a hot day like that, it's a perfect place to cool down. Also, the entry to the church is free, but if you would like to climb the tower, it is five euros or free with Talon card. Here is what you need to know about the climb. It is a spiral staircase that changes direction halfway. The traffic is going both ways and you have a conveniently placed rope to make sure you're nice and safe. The stairs are steep-ish, with two in between platforms that give you a bit of a taste of the view to come. And by the time you feel like you're done, you're already on the top. We're on top. And it's so beautiful. Oh, what a view. After such action, I'm finally ready to relax in my favorite neighborhood. At the very end of your exploration, and let's be honest, a lot of walking, you are definitely ready to wind down. And Deliskivir area is a perfect place for that. Deliskivir area is a trendy neighborhood in Tallinn with plenty of delicious restaurants, craft breweries, cocktail bars, and small wineries. So you will be definitely spoiled for choice here. And if you'd like to know a little bit more about it, do subscribe to this channel as we will be exploring this area thoroughly in the upcoming month. And in my opinion, the crown jewel of this area is Fotografiska, which is behind me. Fotografiska's roots come from Stockholm, Sweden. Inside you can find a coffee shop, a cocktail bar, a co-working space where they invite guest speakers and a souvenir shop that is just a dream and will make your inner hipster very happy. Probably my favorite bit is the upstairs exhibition spaces that are always an absolute joy to explore. The exhibitions span two floors and normally showcase two to three artists. Mm. Nice. I actually visited the place in Stockholm back in 2018 and it literally changed my life. And honestly, when the news broke out that Fotografiska will be opening here in Tallinn, I could not have been prouder of my hometown. So they opened Fotografiska here in June 2019. They literally just now celebrated a third birthday. We just finished going through the exhibitions across the two floors and I really don't want to spoil it to you, but they are fantastic. There is one guy who has exhibited his work with different mediums. There is photography, there is scissors, ink work, a lot of stuff. But my favorite one is by Cooper and Groger. So many bold colors, such a beautiful portrait photography and it has an amazing story and a very important message behind it. I really, really loved it. I could honestly spend days walking through these beautifully designed rooms and I will never ever be tired of it. So honestly, Fotografiska is not the place just for creators. I think it's for everyone and I urge anyone to come in here and just kind of educate yourself and soak in all this beauty. For now, I'm just gonna enjoy this beautiful pastry and my coffee. Had a fantastic day today. Wow, what a note to finish a day on. It's currently 10 o'clock in the morning and it's already so nice and beautiful and lovely. We are in Kadriark Park, which is without a doubt one of the prettiest parks in all of Tallinn and we are heading to Kumo. 
Como is a museum of modern art and it is included in top 10 modern art contemporary museums in all of Europe. So it's a big thing. And I think if you're a fan of all the cultural things, this place is a must visit. So we're going to head in there now and it's going to be beautiful, I'm sure. Let's give that some. Here are a couple of cool bits. This, for example, is not even the main entrance. This is the main entrance. Also, it is a great spot to relax, and since pretty much nobody uses this entrance, you're sure to find some peace and quiet here. Kumo Museum's exhibitions span three entire floors. In total, there are more than 13 different spaces to explore. So my top tip would be to just pick a period you're most interested in and do a deep dive. Otherwise, expect to spend the entire day in the museum, which, if I'm going to be honest, is a total jam, especially when every single room is more impressive than the last. If you have ever looked at hashtags about Tallinn on Instagram, you most definitely came across a room like this one. And this one. And maybe even this one. All of them are located here and are even more impressive up close. What I really enjoyed about this museum is that when you start your journey from the lower floors, you get to see the 17th century artwork of Estonia. And as you move up, you progress to the 18th and 19th century, all the way to the pre-war and post-war. And both these rooms were exceptionally powerful. My favorite exhibition here is a temporary one by the Estonian artist Lembit Sarapo. His imagination is truly one of a kind. And his artwork is like this cool, weird, but also amazing fairy tale artwork that I really, really enjoyed. And and our curator today, Carol, has been exceptionally friendly showing us all the places and sharing all the amazing stories. So thank you, Carol, for that. Honestly, I think Como Museum is definitely worth in its own right. Come here, enjoy the architecture. This museum has been literally cut into the limestone cliff. It has sharp edges and it has those amazing curves. Just walking here is so inspiring, personally for me. And funnily enough, after Tenet movie, this museum has become sort of a backdrop to all the Nordic movies. So that was great. I really enjoyed this stay here. We're gonna grab some coffee and we're gonna go further. Also check out these chairs. Recently, Tallinn became this food melting spot, but loads of places are opening up which are delicious and diverse, and with many, many chefs coming from abroad who are making Tallinn their home. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that eating out in Tallinn is super exciting and awesome. And for our very final spot, we're going to this very small family-run restaurant here in the old town. It's called The Rado, and its owners, Rado from Slovakia and Trino from Estonia, have agreed meeting us and telling us a little bit more about this exciting restaurant. And I'm super hungry, and their food is yummy from the pictures that I've seen. So, yes, let's go now. This year is incredibly special when it comes to Tallinn's food scene. This is the first time Michelin Guide is in Estonia and Rada Restaurant is on their recommended list. I love a good meal. I'm not really a chef nor am I a foodie, but I can tell a lot of passion is put in every plate. When you ask the head chef how often does he change his menu and their answer is it completely depends on the local ingredients, you just know you're in great hands. Pair that with a smashing atmosphere, great in-house bread and a crisp glass of wine and I'm sold. Back me up, I'm done, I'm never leaving. After exploring Tallinn for the past 24 hours, my main takeaway is that every single part of the city is so vastly different, so vibrant, historically and culturally rich, and it's just very fun to be in. And it's crazy to think that a 10 minute walk from the medieval old town gets you to this buzzing, trendy Teleskivi area with plenty of restaurants and plenty of beer places to be. And a short 20 minute trip from here gets you to walk through this gorgeous, beautiful Kadir Park on your way to one of the best modern art museums in Europe, which is also not too far away from the beach. Crazy. Guys, happy travels. Welcome to visit Tallinn and I will see you in my next video.